Pathology of the pancreas. Pancreas is not an easy organ for ultrasound, but not impossible. Sometimes in some patients it's easy, in other patients it's near to impossible. Transesophagic ultrasound is one of the ultrasound that can make better picture of the pancreas. Pancreatitis is a very important and dangerous disease. It's the inflammation of the pancreas and may be chronic or acute. Chronic pancreatitis develop after acute pancreatitis. Pancreatitis occur because the normal enzyme that produce the pancreas to help digestion of the food activate inside the pancreas. When this happens, the pancreas is digested himself and that produces a very painful and dangerous disease called acute pancreatitis. In patients with acute pancreatitis, it's not ultrasound the optimal imaging procedure, but ultrasound has a very important role in pancreatitis because it's the following of the pseudocyst. Pancreatic pseudocyst is a complication of acute pancreatitis and ultrasound is very important in the following of the pancreatic pseudocyst. But for the diagnostic of acute pancreatitis, laboratory, CT scan, and other devices are better than ultrasound. Acute pancreatitis is the acute inflammation of the pancreas caused by pancreatic enzymes in the surrounding pancreatic tissue. The enzymes activate and produce damage or in other words digest the own body. The function of the pancreatic enzyme that is the exocrine part of the pancreas is to digest the food in the duodenum but when, the, when there are acute pancreatitis these enzymes activate in, inside the pancreas and produce digestion of the normal live tissue. The patient have a risk for different complications. Abscess, if there are infection, hemorrhage, and also pseudocyst. You can see here the anatomopathology of a hemorrhagic pancreatitis. In acute attack of pancreatitis, it's commonly that the person before the pancreatitis have a night where take a lot of alcohol and a lot of food. Biliary tract disease is other cause of acute pancreatitis. But the most common cause in the United States is biliary tract disease. Alcohol abuse is the second most common cause of pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is very, very painful. And it's something when you see one person with pancreatitis, you never forget. The person takes the abdomen with the hand, takes fetal position, and it's a very, very painful disease. Laboratory is the most important for the diagnostic of acute pancreatitis because the normal enzymes that the pancreas produce for digestion appear in the blood, lipase, 
protease and elastase are over the normal limit because there are exocrine products and you can find inside the blood. Laboratory is the most important in the diagnosis of pancreatitis. There are other complications of pancreatitis. Flemon, that is a inflammation of the tissue around the pancreas. Pseudocyst formation, that is very important. And ultrasound is the device for the following of the pseudocyst. Remember, it's not a cyst, it's a pseudocyst, not true cyst. Abscess, when there are a infection and a very dangerous complication of pancreatitis, hemorrhage and also duodenal obstruction. The most important for sonography is the pseudocyst. The symptoms are severe pain after a large meal or alcohol intake. When swelling occurs, the gland looks hypoechoic. Remember, in ultrasound in general, everything that is acute is hypoechoic because have swelling, water, and remember, water do not produce a lot of echoes. Everything that is acute in ultrasound is hypoechoic. Of the contrary, when something is chronic, is hyperechoic. You can see here a big, big pancreas with hypoechoic parenchyma. No free fluid in the picture. This is other characteristic of pancreatitis. In this picture, you can only see a swelling pancreas hypoechoic. Pancreatic enlargement and low echogenicity are the sonographic landmark for acute pancreatitis. Also, free fluid around the pancreas. You can see here other picture of acute pancreatitis with hypoechoic pancreas. In this picture you can see only the head, the neck of the body and you can see the pancreas look hypoechoic. The pancreatic duct sometimes can be obstructed as a result of inflammation, span, edema, swelling or also pseudocyst formation. The diagnosis of pancreatitis with ultrasound sometimes is doing with the visualization of peripancreatic free fluid in a patient with abnormal pancreatic enzymes in blood. In the picture you can see the hypo or anechoic areas anterior to the pancreas. This is free fluid in acute pancreatitis. The pediatric pancreas in general is most easy to visualize with ultrasound because there are less body fat and it's easy with ultrasound to visualize the pancreas in children. Acute pediatric pancreatitis may result from trauma, that is other common cause of pancreatitis, drugs, infection, sometimes congenital anomalies, familiar or idiopathic, that means that nobody knows the cause. Hemorrhagic pancreatitis is acute pancreatitis with rapid progression. The etiology is the same. 
the pancreatic enzymes activate and digest the tissue of the person. This is called Cullen sign. It's a hematoma around the umbilical area. This is typical for hemorrhagic pancreatitis. In hemorrhagic pancreatitis, the diffuse enzymatic destruction is caused by a sudden escape of pancreatic enzymes in the tissue that is around the pancreas. This is a picture of a hemorrhagic pancreatitis. The pancreas is totally destroyed in this picture. Near the half of the patient with acute pancreatitis result after alcoholic binge or an excessive large meal. A specific sonographic findings depend on the age of the hemorrhage. A well-defined mass can be seen at the beginning of the necrosis You can see here the echogenic area, that is the beginning of the necrosis. At one week the mass may appear cystic with solid element, in other words like a complex cyst. After several weeks the MRA may appear totally cystic. Flemon is a diffuse inflammation of the soft tissue and phlemonose pancreatitis is characterized by inflammation around all the connective tissue that is around the pancreas. It's a diffuse inflammatory edema of soft tissue around the pancreas and of course created by pancreatitis. This is one ultrasound of a flemon, you can see only the edematous tissue and the kidney, but you cannot see the pancreas in this picture. Pancreatic abscess is a very dangerous condition with a very high mortality associated with acute pancreatitis. ultrasound you can see a irregular in homogeneous area chronic pancreatitis occurs when the person has multiple previous acute pancreatitis is the cause of continuous destruction of the pancreatic parenchyma and is in general associated with chronic alcoholism or biliary disease. Patients with hypercalcemia and hyperlipidemia are more prone to have pancreatitis. The chronic destructive process is progressive and of course scar tissue replace the normal cells of the pancreas. Patients with chronic pancreatitis can have also pseudocysts a dilated commune bile duct or thrombosis of the splenic vein with extension into the portal vein. You can see there a pseudocyst, it's not a real cyst, 
is a pseudocyst, is a typical condition associated with acute or chronic pancreatitis. Patients with chronic pancreatitis have more chance to develop pancreatic cancer. Remember, pancreatic cancer is a very, very dangerous situation. Persons with pancreatic cancer have a low chance of survive more than one year. In general, pancreatic cancer is in the head of the pancreas. A stone of calcium may be found inside the ductal system, and this is for that to remember. Acute in ultrasound must be hypoechoic. Chronic in ultrasound in general are hyperechoic. A chronic pancreatitis have a hyperechoic pancreas. Here in the picture, you can see a calcification with a shadow, and you can see also the dilatation of the pancreatic duct. Echogenicity of the pancreas is increased, of course, because fibrosis and fatty change. In ultrasound in general, chronic is hyperechoic. Acute is hypoechoic. Calcification in the pancreas. This is a typical ultrasound of a chronic pancreatitis. The classic sonographic finding for chronic pancreatitis are calcification. Pancreatic pseudocysts are most often complication of the pancreatitis. Free fluid is other form of complication of the pancreatitis. Pseudocysts are always acquired. They can result for trauma of the gland or acute or chronic pancreatitis. You can see in the picture a pseudocyst, an echoic, but the borders are not as regular as a true cyst. And sometimes inside the pseudocyst you can see echogenic parts. A pseudocyst is a collection of fluid that arise from the loculation of inflammatory process necrosis or hemorrhage. The etiology is the pancreatic enzyme digest on tissue. Pseudocyst general create few symptoms but sometimes produce pressure on the surrounding organs. It's not a chirurgical disease. With ultrasound, we follow the pseudocyst. It's a no true cyst. It's a false cyst because have no walls. It's free fluid and tissue destroy it. Sometimes appear like well-defined mass with sonolucent interiors. You can see here a pseudocyst that is totally anechoic. But sometimes there are debris and that debris can produce echoes 
in the bottom of the cyst and increase the true transmission is present. Remember, are not really cysts, are pseudo cysts. You can see in the picture, in the bottom of the pseudo cyst, the tissue debris that are echogenic. The most common complication is the a spontaneous rupture and have a high mortality of 50%. There are different cystic lesions that you can see in the pancreas, but pseudo cysts are not real cysts and are more common than the other cyst lesions. You can see here pseudo cysts of the pancreas are not real cysts, are pseudo cysts because are not covered by epithelium. Multiple pancreatic cysts, there are some congenital disease. Bone hyperlindal disease is the most important of the multiple pancreatic disease. In the polycystic disease, there are commonly found cysts in the liver, but other organs as the pancreas, the spleen, endometrium, ovaries, seminal vesicles can also have cysts. Polycystic disease is a very important disease of the kidney. Von Hippel-Lindau disease is an autosomal dominant condition with central hemangioblastomas, visceral cysts. There are also common pheochromocytomas. Remember, pheochromocytomas are characterized by a tumor that secretes adrenalina. Also, in Von Hippel-Lindau disease are very common renal cell carcinoma. Cystic fibrosis is a hereditary disease that causes thick mucus by the endocrine gland. It's very common and is characterized by a predisposition of lung infection. Solitary pancreatic cyst true cyst and lymphoepithelial cyst. True cysts are microscopic sacs that may be congenital or acquired. Lymphoepithelial cysts are very rare and are found in middle age to elderly males. endocrine pancreatic lesions, adenocarcinoma of the pancreas is the most important disease of the pancreas, it's something that the student of ultrasound must know how to recognize because it's very important and it's very dangerous, it's the most common primary neoplasm of the pancreas and it's very dangerous. You have here the picture of Pavarotti. You remember Pavarotti died of pancreas adenocarcinoma. Carcinoma of the head of the pancreas is a very dangerous tumor of the exocrine part of the pancreas. It's very important for sonographers to recognize carcinoma of the head of the pancreas, a heterogeneous hypoechoic structure in the head of the pancreas,
you can see here, pancreas is the five tumor that produce dead. It usually occurs in elderly males and less often in patients under 40 years old. The most frequent is in the head of the gland, 60 to 70 percent. And this is for that they say carcinoma of the head of the pancreas. Tumors in the pancreatic head present early causing obstruction of the common bile duct that produce jaundice because the bile cannot go outside the billiard duct. You can see here the dilatation of the pancreatic duct because the tumor obstructs the pancreatic duct. The sonographic appearance is the loss of the normal pancreatic parenchymal pattern, but in general as other malignant tumor is hypoechoic. You can see in the picture the loss of the normal parenchyma of the pancreas. The echo pattern is hypoechoic. You can see here the lesion, a hypoechoic lesion in the pancreas with irregular border and also you can see the dilatation of the pancreatic duct. Dilatation of the pancreatic duct and a irregular hypoechoic structure in the head of the pancreas. Usually, there are dilatation of the pancreatic duct. You can see here in the picture a big, big dilatation of the pancreatic duct over the superior mesenteric artery. Do not confuse the dilatation of the pancreatic duct with the confluence because you can see at side of the superior mesenteric artery the superior mesenteric vein that is part of the confluence. The hypoechoic oval structure in the head of the pancreas with dilatation of the pancreatic duct. Of course, when the sonographer have the suspicious of the adenocarcinoma of the pancreas, they lo must look for other organs to localize possible metastatic cancer lesions in the liver, around the aorta, or in the portal venous system. Of course, it's very common, jaundice, and sometimes when the tumor is in the head of the pancreas, compression of the inferior vena cava. Cystic pancreatic neoplasm. The cystic neoplasm of the pancreas accounts for less than 5% of the pancreatic tumors. There are two types, microcystic adenoma and macrocystic adenoma. Microcystic adenoma is rare, is benign, and is more frequent in elderly females. Are lesions that are very common in von Hippel-Lindau disease. This is a very important disease for sonographers. Hippel-Lindau disease. The cystic 
can be single or multiple, but are little, less than two centimeters in diameter. In ultrasound, the lesion can be solid because sometimes are very little. Sometimes hypoechoic, sometimes anechoic, but even sometimes echogenic. Macrocystic adenoma can be malignant or benign with a malignant potential. Typical well-defined cyst containing mucinose fluid, internal septation or mural nodules. You can see here a very homogeneous structure. Mucinose adenocarcinoma or colloid carcinoma. This is a disease with very poor prognosis. Produce a large volume of mucin that results in a cystic appearance on ultrasound. You can see here the pathology, a big round structure with mucin, that is the fluid part of the colloid carcinoma. This is how you can see in ultrasound a colloid adenocarcinoma, and you can see here a complex cystic structure. Mucinose cystic tumor. This is better prognosis than adenocarcinoma. Are large cysts with or without septation and have a significant malignant potential, but is better than pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Intraductal papillary mucinous tumor is the last one of the exocrine pancreas tumor. This is low growing lesion common in the sixth and seventh decades of the life. This is the picture. You can see here a big, big one a structure in the pancreas in a CT scan. Endocrine pancreatic neoplasts are from Langerham islet cells. This is the endocrine part of the pancreas. There are several types of islet cell tumors. Sometimes are functional, in other words, produce hormones. Other times are non-functional, that means that do not produce hormones. Remember, always non-functional are more dangerous than functional. In other words, non-functional tumors have more chance to produce metastasis or to be malignant than functional tumors. The tumor might be classified as benign adenomas or malignant tumors. But remember, always coming from the islet of Langerman. Non-functional islet cell tumor comprise one-third of all islet cell tumor with 90% being malignant. Remember, non-functional islet cell tumor have more chance to be malignant than 
functional tumors. Functional tumors produce hormones, insulin, glucagon, gastrin, but non-functional do not produce hormones. The growth rate is very slow and they usually do not spread beyond the regional lymph node and the liver. The most common functional is Lelzumor tumor is insulinoma, very important tumor of the pancreas. Insulinoma produces insulin followed by gastrinoma that produce gastrin. Gastrin is a hormone that induces production of acid by the stomach. Insulinoma, very important tumor, very common tumor to be asked in a RDMS examination. The tumor in general is little and encapsulated with a good vascular supply. Patients that have this tumor that produce insulin suffer hypoglycemia. The patient with hypoglycemia because have too much insulin are confused, pale, sweating, tachycardia is other of the problem of hypoglycemia. Remember hypoglycemia also happen when diabetics put two more insulin in blood. Insulinoma is the most common functional tumor of the islet cell. Gastrinoma in general affects young adults who have pectic ulcer disease. When one person has a pectic ulcer disease that is not easy, to heal, you can suppose the person have a gastrinoma. This disease is also called Solinger-Ellison. Remember, Solinger-Ellison is a gastrinoma. The person suffer pectic ulcer because too much acid in the stomach. Diarrhea is very common in the gastrinoma. Remember, gastrinoma is also called Solinger Ellison. Metastasis to the pancreas is uncommon, very rare. Some of the cancer that can make metastasis of the pancreas are melanoma, breast gastrointestinal and lung tumors, but remember, it's not very common to cancer make metastasis to the pancreas. Not very common metastasis to the pancreas. Contrary to the liver, metastasis to the liver is very common. Lymphomas are the most frequent parapancreatic neoplasts, in other words, tumors near the pancreas. You can see the two hypoechoic areas that are lymphomas. In general, the characteristic of lymphomas are hypoechoic and have no vascularity. Lymphomas are non-vascular tumors.
it is very hard to separate a parapancreatic lymphadenopathy from a primary lesion of the pancreas. Remember, ultrasound in general never gives the final diagnosis. Multiple nodes are seen along the pancreas, duodenum, porta hepatis, and superior mesenteric vessels. This is a lymphadenopathy around the area of the pancreas. The enlarged node appears hypoechoic, well defined, 